A very pleasant day to all of you, Anand here. Our today's topic is equations. Now, who is not aware of the concept of equal to? We come across this in daily life in so many ways. Simple example, the amount that I have plus the amount my brother has together totals out to 7000. So, we write it in the form of an equation. So, we write it as x plus y is 7000. Right? It's a simple equation. Something on one side is equal to something else. Say another example, the, the product of the number of students and the amount that each one has together is 200 rupees. So we say if there are x students and the number of uh, amount that each one has is y, so the product of these two is 200. So we say xy is 200, right? Now also take another example. The square of my age added to 5 times the same is turning out to be, uh, say, 150. So we say square of my age x square plus 5x, 5x the same, is turning out to be 150. So we have these various types of equations over here. And similarly, you may have an equation like 3x cubed plus 2x square plus 3x minus say 5 is equal to 7. So you have various varieties of equations. So this we know is called a simultaneous equation in two variables. If you look at the graph, it's going to be a straight line like this. xy is 2000. The graph could be a curve like this. This again could be a curve. This one is a cubic equation. This will also be a curve. So various varieties, you may have an equation in degree 5, you may have an equation in degree 6, something like say 5x raised to 6 is equal to 275, suppose. Now generally, the number of solutions to a particular equation depends upon the maximum power to which the unknown is raised, the unknown which we call as a variable. So for example, here the total power of x and y put together is 1 plus 1, 2. So there will be two solutions for this. For this one, there will be one pair of solutions for x plus y because each of these has been raised to the power 1. This one, since the maximum power of the unknown, that is a variable which we also call as a degree, the maximum power is called the degree, is 2. So this one will have two solutions and so on and so forth. Hence, when we are talking about equations, the most important thing that we are talking about is the process of equating two quantities. And the quantities are related in different ways. And of course, it's a fairly large topic covering a wide range of equations, types of equations, but it's an extremely interesting process of trying to discover how we can find solutions to various types of equations. So let's see what things we're going to cover in this particular topic. Okay, so coming to this is what we have on agenda. We're going to understand what an equation is, which we roughly did some time back. Then we're going to take up linear equations. Linear equations are generally equations like 2x plus 5 is equal to 7x minus 4. This is a linear equation having only one unknown. So we call it as a linear equation in one variable because there is only one unknown over here. If you take something like this 3x plus 2y is equal to 7, there are two unknowns x and y but both have been raised to the power 1. So whenever the variable has been raised to power 1, we call it as a linear equation. Then we have word problems based on the same how we could frame a word problem into mathematical language and solve it the same way as we have solved the previous set in the previous topic. That's Then we have simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equations are going to be the ones like this. Equations like 14x plus 15y is say 330, sorry, 15y is 330. So simultaneous equations, we call them simultaneously because we solve two equations simultaneously to get a unique pair of solutions. 
and then we have word problems based on simultaneous equations again quite similar to this it's a carry forward of our concept of equations two uh, equations in two variables how to take up a real life situation put it in the form of mathematical format and then solve it then we are going to take up quadratic equations which will be something like this x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So here we have quadratic, generally quadratic means an equation of degree 2 which means the unknown or the variable which is x in this case has been raised to the power 2. So we say the degree of this particular equation is 2. Then on similar basis we are going to take up word problems, quadratic equations based on word problems. We will also be taking up cubic equations subsequent to this. They could be equations like this x cubed minus 6x plus say uh, 5x plus 1 say is equal to 0. So we are taking up an equation here where the degree is 3. So we are solving. This is going to be in this. Then we are going to taking up certain concepts in equation and coordinate geometry which is dealing with various positions of various points which are described on the basis of their coordinates and the various relationship between them which could be the distance between them, slope of those lines and various concepts which we will familiarize ourselves as we move into that particular topic. And then we have graphical solution to a linear equation how we can graphically solve a particular linear equation. So we'll cover all these step by step in a very simple manner, absolutely in a way which will be so that it's friendly to you. It's a friendly process. We'll go slow, systematic, so that you get a real deep understanding of these topics. So now, of course, let's go back just a little bit over here. I did mention about simultaneous equation in two variables. We also have simultaneous equations in three variables, say 2x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to say 4, x plus y plus z is equal to 3, 3x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. So we have three equations over here. Since there are three variables, we need three equations to solve them simultaneously. Just as 14x plus 15y cannot be solved independently, individually, you, there will be umpteen number of solutions for this, but we need a unique solution. So it could be having something like 15x plus 14y is equal to 240. So you are solving equation number, equation number 2. Since there are two variables, we need one pair of equations to solve them. Just as here there are three variables, hence we need three equations to solve it. So we will have simultaneous equations in variable 2, simultaneous equation in two, three variables and simultaneous equations in two variables also. So let's go step by step. Let's go in detail starting with what is equation and linear equation and simple problems in there.